It's finally that time of year, fall time, where the big bass come out and play. In this video, we're fishing for giant bass in hidden ponds while bank fishing. It was an absolute grind, but we stayed positive and were very patient. And boy, did we catch what we were here for. <gasps> There's a monster dude. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, we are at a pond that we have never been to before. And let me tell you, this place just looks saucy. We got a bunch of laydowns all across the shoreline. And I've been eyeballing this place for a while, just have yet to be able to get out and fish it. Today, we're gonna be pond hopping to a bunch of different places and we're gonna see how many big fish we can actually catch. So that's really the main goal today. It's been a while since I've filmed just a pure like fishing video like this, so I'm pumped about it. I actually got my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose bait caster combo. If you guys wanna check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. They'll be linked down below. These things just look so beautiful glistening in the sun there. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. I got this paired up with 17 pound fluorocarbon and I did a little tackle haul before coming out to this pond today. So I'm gonna do a little unbagging. So I went to the old place, Walmart. I got a couple baits that are just confidence baits for us to catch some big fish today. And I'm gonna go over those right now. So first things first, we got a white and chartreuse chatter dog. This is a 3 8 ounce. I like to go between the half ounce and the 3 8 um, but this is one of my go-tos to catch some big fish. I actually got two of the chartreuse ones. I got a black and blue chatter donk. I got a white chatter donk and another moving bait. I actually ended up picking up a red eye shad by Strike King. This is a great bait for big fish. Just covering a lot of water, especially when you're fishing places that you haven't been to before, just like this one. Also got some uh, June bug curly tail worms. And lastly, I got some of these small little flukes by Zoom. And let me tell you, we're gonna try something different today. So the first bait that I'm gonna tie on is actually the black and blue chatter donk. Now, I have never used one of these flukes on the back of a chatter bait before. So we're actually gonna try it today. If you guys are wondering why I got these for the chatter baits, it's because they really didn't have any standard flukes. And the ones that they had were just like bad colors that I really didn't wanna mess with. So I decided to go with this and maybe we'll learn something today. Let's see how this is gonna look on here. As you can tell, this is a different profile from your standard fluke. This one's very slim. I've used these in the past, but mainly for like drop shots. Caught a lot of fish on a drop shot with this baby fluke. We're just gonna rig this up like that. Oh my gosh, boys, we might've just learned something today. Look at that right there. Not only does that smoke and shag color look amazing, on the black and blue but look how slim the profile is and just how perfect that looks that might be a go-to for now on that reminds me of the blade minnow by strike king i just didn't have any or i definitely would have brought some out the blade minnow is awesome on the chatter bait if you guys are looking for something to go on the back definitely look that up the blade minnow is disgusting on the back of one of these well, we're gonna tie this on with a standard uni knot and we're gonna hop right into it boys and let's see if we can catch a big one and first things first, let's learn and see if there's some fish in this pond. I actually just spooled this kicking combo up too. I usually run mine on between two and three. I suggest if you guys end up getting a kicking combo, I would definitely run it on probably five or six, maybe six or seven, depending on your skill level with a bait caster. I just like running mine really low, but that's not a good example. And my boy A-Dub, he even runs his on six or seven and he's been fishing his whole life. So it's just personal preference, really. Dude, I caught a stick. I about had a heart attack, boys. My reel's coming off, gotta tighten this puppy down. It's a brand new rod, so <laughs> I'm just getting everything ready. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, my heart totally stopped. Well, that's a way to start off the video. Let's just catch a stick pounder real quick. So we're just gonna throw around some of these laydowns and just start covering some water. We're gonna be fishing pretty fast today. So I'm gonna try to hit as many ponds as possible. And by the way, that mini fluke on the back of that just looks so good. I mean, I'm honestly impressed. I didn't think it was gonna look that good. And there we go. Okay, I need to lock in boys. I need to get warmed up here.
There we go. That's, that feels like a good one, boys. That feels like a really good one right there. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, that's a big one, ain't it? Oh, that's a nice one, boys. Look at that to start off the video. That quick, a new pond, solid two pounder. Not a better way to start off the video. Let's freaking go. Well, I guess our gut paid off. Coming out to a new spot we've never been to before. Beautiful lay downs around the banks. And uh, start off with a pretty two pounder. That fish felt a lot bigger than it was, but then again, he got stuck down in that tree. Thank you, baby. That was awesome. Heck yeah, fish number one. We're already on board five minutes into the day. That's a great sign. If I had to assume what happened there, I threw right up on that tree. I kind of popped my bait because I got stuck around one of those branches. And uh, I want to say that fish followed it out. Either he followed it out or he was hanging out right in that little crevice, that little drop off in the middle. If I had to assume, both these banks kind of go down and create like a little bed, like a little ditch right in the middle of this little canal here. That is a great sign, man. New spot we've never been to, already popping one off. And it's a nice fish. I'll take it. You know, one thing I hate about putting just new line on a reel, it takes it so long to kind of break in. Like I should be able, I mean, I'm not skipping it bad, but I should be able to just sling that bait up there. And I just saw a slight blow up in that corner. And I actually saw a little boil to my left. We might've just found a honey hole, boys. Is that a boil? Or am I going crazy? Dude, they're freaking like scoring over there. Man. Oh boy. Ooh. I just got slammed, man. These fish are active right now. That's a good sign. It's pretty crazy looking. There should be a fish right there. Right on a little edge of that thing. Mmm, this place looks spicy. Oh, the one just literally ate bait right in front of me. Literally right there. Oh my gosh. I knew that little spot had to have had one. Oh my goodness, man. Instantly just walked up on it and he was eating the bait fish. a bunch of movement up in this corner deflecting off these little branches I'm gonna tell you you don't find many ponds like this with just a lot of cover that is a rarity to find if you guys notice I'm standing in the strike zone they're in parallel with this bank Keeping it about five foot off. There's been some boils up there. We might get lucky here. That looks so good right there. Ooh, I just got bit. He only grabbed the back of it, which is odd. You think of that smaller swim bait, they would commit. There's a lot of bait right there by that tree too. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was about a pound and a half right there on that tree. This is fun fishing, man. This is, oh man, this got me so pumped. Look at these trees, boys. And they're just hanging right in these trees. I mean, perfectly. I'm watching bait pop and everything. I mean, this couldn't lay out better for a pond. I wish I would've landed that fish. I didn't really get the hooks at them pretty good. I feel like I just got hit. Some animal right to the left of me. I don't know what it was. Look at that right there, boys. That looks so prime. If there's a spot that looks prime, it is that right there. Make sure we're throwing all the edges of this. Try not to get hung up because I did not bring my baits like a 
like a weenie. Look at that fish swimming on. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that was a carp or a bass, but I think it was a bass just up in those branches. I don't know if you guys see, there's a bunch of concrete blocks too. This is a prime area. But you know, that fish probably just swam off and told his buddies, oh no, nah, man, don't be biting them. Don't be doing it. Man, I almost should have brought that dang big worm, man. Start flipping some of these bushes or put us like a rage crawl on. That probably would have been prime. I'm not saying that this chatter dunk's not a good bait, but. That spot's perfect for a nice little Texas rig crawl. Watch, they're gonna be on the bare bank. That makes no sense. <laughs> they're literally gonna be right here. I'll tell you, this side of the pond almost sets up good for that lipless. If we start getting a lot of bites here, it might not be a bad idea to go grab that thing and tie it on. This little open area. Oh my God, that was a bite right there. Makes no sense, man. You got all this prime cover. These fish are just going to sit in the open where there's nothing. That's a big one. That's a big one. Come on, baby. I think she's a big one. No, man. These fish are feeling jacked. I mean, another like two pounder. These fish are good, though. And I don't know if you guys noticed what I did there. I just stopped reeling and he ate it. The moment I stopped reeling, I got slammed. That, that's telling us something. So one thing to think about, guys, when you're fishing, I'm telling you, pay attention to the little signs that these fish are telling us. And uh, we're going to start using that little method there. Thank you, baby. I'll tell you, when you have something happen once, it's like, okay, it might be something that's going to be beneficial throughout the day. But at the end of the day, it could be a fluke. So we're going to practice this. We're going to start reeling it, steady retrieve, then we're going to stop it. Reel it, steady retrieve. We'll, we'll do that about two or three times a cast max. I'd say about two times a cast is healthy. So if a fish is following that bait, all of a sudden it stops and it eats it. We might have just figured something out though. All, this, all of a sudden I just decided to stop reeling. And that was instantly, I mean, he just thumped it instantly right after that. So what that fish is doing, all he's doing is following that bait, right? And then when, then when you kill it, what happens is it gives it that sporadic movement. So the fish is following it, you know, it's doing the same thing. All of a sudden that bait drops and it's just instant reaction. That bass doesn't like it or he thinks the bait's gonna get away from him or whatever the situation is. I'm telling you, we need to pay attention to that though. I think that was a that was a big telling sign of what can happen today. Big boiler right there to the left of me. Looks like it could almost be a carp. <laughs> Dude, what was that? Why'd it get closer? Did it get closer to me? I hope that's not a gator. I think that was just a carp. I don't think that, that was a gator. I hope not at least. That was de definitely had to be in a carp, right? I think it scared me though. All right, boys, that's all she wrote. We are going to go to our next spot. All right, boys, pond number two. Never been here before either. So I don't know what to expect, but we're gonna find out. It's actually kind of blue water here. Ooh, that water is very blue. That's interesting. I don't know what to expect of that. I've definitely caught fish in blue water like this. Doesn't mean there's no fish. Boys, these construction workers are having the time of their life right now. I've never seen people working so fast and all of a sudden they kick the ball over the fence and they're, and they're just kicking it. <laughs> they're playing soccer, dude. That is so funny. There's a fish in here, he should be right here. <gasps> no! Is he still there? Is he still there? Oh no. Dude, I don't know if I spooked him. 
That sucks. That was a huge boil right there. That freaking blows, man. All right, boys, day number two. We kind of ran out of time yesterday and uh, we still want to hunt for these big fish. I see a boil in the distance. I need to make a cast on that. We just ran out of time and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna come out tomorrow. So today is tomorrow, it's a new day. I'm ready to find these big fish and we're gonna be hitting some spots today. We're on a different side of town that I've caught some really big fish in the past. So stay tuned boys. We're gonna try to get some big ones for y'all, but let's just keep on casting. By the way, got the man Connor with me. What's, What's up, ladies? What's going on? Yes, sir. Ready to smoke a big and do? Should have brought out the old popping pickle out here. Dude, I actually threw one in the back of my truck. I meant to grab it because I brought my braid rod. So, guys, I got exploded on with my frog in this corner. I'm going to show you guys this tree. It's just an insane spot. I don't know if y'all saw that video. It's actually one of the worst videos we posted this summer, which is crazy. Still got like 200,000 views, but if you guys didn't see it, one, you need to go check it out. And two, I'm gonna show you guys this freaking tree because it's probably the juiciest thing that you'll ever see in a pond. I'm actually gonna go ahead and walk down by it. I'll kind of let Connor fish for most of this middle water. All right, boys, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this tree over here. And I caught, or I didn't catch them actually. I had them on and all the way until I got them by the bank. I mean, it's every bit of about six pounds. I freaking jumped off. And then a couple casts later, I ended up catching another one on a frog up in that tree. It was pretty crazy. Ooh, I felt that branch that kind of spooked me. But yeah, I hooked them right up on this tree. Could only think there's a couple more big ones right here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even set the, oh! No. Boys, I knew he was gonna get bit on that. I had a gut feeling to throw that trap. That sucks. Okay, there's one. I actually set the hook on that fish. Definitely a little tiny guy. Coast him in there. This one's probably like tenth of the size of that one that I just had on. Boys, that's crazy that Connor's had all those bites because I haven't even had a nibble. That just shows, you know, throwing a different bait on what they really want. That's insane. I haven't even had one I'm just tap it or anything. Oh wait, that might be a better one. He's running right out. No, he came off. He came off. Okay. Well, apparently I should have been fishing a rattle trap my whole life. This is actually like the probably the third time I've ever thrown one. Dude, I don't know how you haven't thrown a trap. I don't know, they can't, I've caught a lot of big fish. Dude, they're dumping it, like like bumping it. I haven't got a nibble. But That's if they're eating crazy. a bait, like they eat a bait head first. Yeah. Sometimes I, they. How do you swipe it? At... That's a nice one. Look at that. Okay. We'll kind of have two pounder. I'll take them. See, you know what I had to do that time? I let it hit the bottom and I just barely reeled it. See, that's. I'm, See, they're I'm loaded gonna, right here. On the bottom. That's a pretty, pretty fish. It's about a pound and a half, two pounds. Really thick and chunky. Thank you, buddy. How big was that one that you caught? It's probably about a pound. Well, that's a good sign I got a bite on this, guys. I'm about to say you're getting slammed on that thing. I'm like, that's the bait. The sad part is that's the only trap I have, so don't break, don't break it off. I think that might be the go today. I'm telling you, when I walked down this bank and I saw this opening, I'm like, honestly, a trap is money to fish on this. I haven't felt a bite like those in a while, dude. <laughs> They're like almost taking the rod out of my hand. Yeah, dude, I, when, when I heard you, I like... There's a box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he choked it. Oh my gosh. What in the world? That's a little comeback from the one we just Here, made. Hold him so out. We'll take it. 
<laughs> Dude, there we go. Hey, we got a giant now. Yes, sir. That's one giant, guys. We're going to keep on trying to catch them. The sad part is the pond that we're going to after this, in my opinion, has bigger fish. That's a good one, Connor. Good job, dude. There you go. All right. You want me to just put them back? Yeah, you just come back. Dude, good job, Connor. Yeah, I'd say that's a four and a half. I don't think he's quite five. Beautiful fish, though. Oh, he took off. Heck yeah. Good job, dude. Well, this pond paid off, boys. I got one. He got two. He missed a good bite. I guess they'll eat this chatterbait. I just got to figure out how they want it, dude. They might want it slow. What's crazy is that's right where that one ate me. Literally same yeah. exact spot. Wait, really? It was, dude, the same spot that that small one just ate, or two pounder just ate me. All right, well, we got us a little bit of redemption. Probably got a, a four pounder, but we need a really big redemption for that giant fish that I apparently just couldn't set the hook on for some reason. So we're going to throw around this corner and see if we can make it happen. Dude, 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 what is Connor doing over there? He's saying, he's telling me he missed five megas, man. Five megas. He, he got he to gotta clutch up. What is going on? All right, boys, so I thought I gave Connor my last trap, but little did I know I have this one, which is a blue and chrome. I've actually had a lot of luck on a blue and chrome, just not around this time of year but it should do the trick. It just seemed to be getting that reaction bite really good. I thought I got bit right away. That reaction bite definitely seems like it's the move. By the way, there's some big gators in here, so be cautious of that. There we go. Dude, I think I got a mud fish, bro. I swear. I'm pretty positive this is a mud. Oh, it's a gar. I caught a gar, bro. I swear. <laughs> I have never caught a gar on a freaking trap in my life. Look at, okay. That made it way easier on me. Dude, those things don't eat anything and he ate a trap? <laughs> I've never seen a gar eat a moving bait like that. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Dude, it hit the water and it was like instant bite. You got bit? Are you serious? Maybe the fish just turned up today, dude. Right there in front of them pipes. I don't know if you guys remember. Oh, dude. I bet he keeps getting a lot of grass on it. I don't know if you guys remember with this pipe, guys, but I hooked, I hooked a massive one on a chatter donk around seven pounds, and I was fighting him for a minute, kept fighting him, kept fighting him, and he jumped right off at the bank, man. I don't know why this thing thinks want to run sideways so freaking. It's probably the worst one I've had in a minute. I don't know why. Does not want to run straight. That can give us an issue. Yeah, I mean, it's coming right up to the top. Like, what is. Dude, this thing runs so bad. Like, this is probably the worst one I've ever had, honestly. Let me see them pliers. So, you got your ring hooked on here? Yeah. You need to slightly tweak it. So, oh, you're bending that one. Sometimes it's just like a, a balance thing. I mean, this thing's coming right up to the top. It's kind of crazy. You notice the grass in here? Yeah, there's a good bit of grass. That's a good thing with the trap sometimes, as long as it ain't bothering us every cast. You like rip, you rip a trap through grass, bro? Shoo. Dude, big boil. He's spooking fish on the bank, dude. It's so weird because that last pond they're out in the middle. Yesterday, I felt like most of them were out in the middle too. See if you can cast it where I did out there. I just, my, my thing's running so sideways. That we should get bit in that corner though because I saw some bait moving. Do you ever like jig it like this? Oh yeah. Let it fall? That's one of my favorite ways to work it. We used to go to... Oh, dude, it's like a brush pile. You know what's crazy is I've never hooked that. Dang it, bro. 
Man, I cannot win right now. I don't know what's going on. I I am a mess, dude. Catching gar, freaking bait can't even run. Oh, I don't know when this bad fishing juju is gonna end, man. I feel like it's been going on for a month now. Can't ever catch a break on anything. There's not even like things I'm doing wrong, guys. It's like I don't know what's going on. It's just the luck of the draw for sure. I guess I'm gonna put on the chatterbait. I don't have anything else for me. I don't feel like walking back to the truck, so. Oh boy, I'm just gonna tie this back on and get to work. We have not had the best luck, but I have high hopes in this right here for that pocket. I think I'm gonna get one or two really good bites. I'm just gonna have to capitalize, land these bad boys. We got one really good fish this video, and I think we should add a lot more. So, let's see what we can do. All right, Chatter Donk, do your magic. Please do your magic. I feel it. I think I'm gonna have a couple good bites right here. Oh, there's a boil. Dude, big boil behind me, Connor. Huge boil. I can't believe he didn't eat it, dude. He like spiraled right behind my bait. There he is. Biggin, dude. Biggin, Connor. I think. I can't even turn him, dude. It's not even that big. It's like about a pound and a half or. He was fighting like a mega, dude. Did you see that? Hey, I might've hooked him in the side of the face. I'm fine with that. A little quick release action. <laughs> hey, he acted like a big one. He was up in that grass, dude. That's the one that boiled probably a second ago. He felt huge though. I'm telling you, I had him in the side of the face or something. That's why he came off. No way I had him in the mouth and then pulling like that. Oh. That bird is crazy, man. Birds are so weird. Birds are just weird. Such a weird little creature. Da bird. Bro, that thing is so weird, dude. Dude, that was sick. He literally ate it at the bank and it was on the surface, dude. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing to think about. You got all this wind going down in this pocket. Oh, dude, Biggie. Yeah, oh, no. Dude, they are smoking that trap. I don't know what it is about that thing today. Maybe it's just getting that time of year, man. Yeah. When we're peeking into that fall, those fish just start eating bait fish, and that thing just looks as realistic as it gets. I mean, they just don't like this chatter dunk. Like, if I was throwing a worm or, like, some on the bottom that's not a moving bait, I'd be like, okay. But it could be the color of the chatter dunk, too. You might just want it like white. And that's a natural color trap. So usually when I'm fishing some of this tannic water, this black and blue can work really good, but maybe they just don't want it. I don't know if it's big or not. It's definitely, oh wait, that might be a good one. Nah. Little water skipper. Oh, well, we're doing uh, some quick releases today. <laughs> 